What's up? It's your boy Gadget. Um, <clears throat> I started to have a problem with the uh, Pebble Classic. Started to get the infamous screen tearing. Uh, it doesn't do it all the time, so it's okay right now. But I was able to catch it, send some pictures off to Pebble Support, and um, they went ahead and uh, took care of me. So, um, got this in two days. This is the replacement. They basically just sent me another one. Um, I was kind of hoping they would send me a Pebble Time, but nonetheless, um, it got to me in two days. So, um, I still have to uh, put this in an envelope and send it off to them uh, to return it. Um, but here it is, Pebble Classic, and uh, it really is a good product. Um, you know, and I'm actually glad I got a replacement because the one I had, I never did really get the seven day battery life that is uh, advertised for this and a lot of other people were able to get. Um, so I'm hoping this one will live up to that. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and break the seals. And um, I got my wife a... Uh, uh, an Apple Watch <laughs> and uh, that thing is nice um, and I was kind of tempted after seeing her put it on um, it's really expensive but um, this does a pretty much the same thing she has to charge hers every night um, and uh, I don't know I, I still I'm still more keen on the uh, the pedal watches but anyway Let's uh let's get to opening this up. And uh your regular fare with the books. Um no stickers come with this one. And there's the watch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shut the other one down. Uh, unpair it and then I'm going to get this one powered up and uh, paired up to my iPhone 6 Plus and here is the charging cable now they did allow me to keep the old charging cable so I'll have a backup now so that was really cool of them and just shout out to Pebble Support they made that process really easy. I know there is a problem with these uh, with the screen tearing. Um, there it is, no scratches, brand new, like that. So let me go ahead. I'm gonna shut down. Or actually, just unpair the old watch. And disable that and forget okay so that's good to go I'm gonna put that to the side then I gotta take my phone and also disconnect from the phone so I'm just gonna go ahead and forget the old watch and we're good to go now and there's the app showing that it's waiting on a connection alright so let's power up the new watch uh, hoping they sent it with some uh, some juice in it. it doesn't appear that they did unless I forgot how to power it on because I never turn my watch off at all yeah there's no power in it well um, brief intermission um, go grab uh, some popcorn or uh, go use the restroom and I'll be right back okay so we got the watch on <clears throat> and uh, it's basically giving instructions uh, of what to do uh, to install the Pebble app which I already have so I'm just gonna open that up and uh, I'm gonna Hit connect. 
All right, I'm gonna find the pebble corresponding to the watch I have. It's going to locate the watch. There it is. Just select that. And then the watch should discover my phone, which it has. We're gonna hit yes and we should be pairing. All right, we're good to go. Now, the first thing it's gonna ask you is to update, and I'm definitely gonna do that uh, because the features uh, in the, uh, the later uh, software is much, much better than uh, what you get initially. Okay, so as you can see, um, the firmware is updating. And uh, once it's done, it uh, should be good to go. It should load all of the watch faces that I have already um, loaded into my phone and all of the uh, apps that I have as well. And uh, it should be pretty seamless. So uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so the new Pebble is fully charged. Um, this thing had absolutely no power um, when I put it out of the box, uh oh, what meaneth this? <sighs> okay, something's not working right, so I think you hold these three buttons, there we go. Okay, so, I will now go ahead and play with this, put it on my wrist, and go about my business. Um, so cool. Thanks Pebble Support, Inspector Gadget, I'm out!